So as you can see from the top of my paper, inequalities order matters. You always would like to have the variable on the left. with the inequality symbol in the middle. And the constant on the right. That's where I'd like you to use one of your colors. You always want to have the variable on the left, the symbol in the middle, and the constant on the right. Go ahead and use your other color to do some decorating around those boxes. Think about an inequality statement as three pieces. And these pieces can be moved. Nikita. And I want you to think about flip-flop if you end up with an inequality where the number is on the left and the, the variables on the right. We want to be able to flip them. And I'm going to go back and look at this one we just made a few minutes ago. When we were graphing these, did you notice that the arrow on the symbol match the arrow that we ended up putting on the graph. That's because I always had the variable on the left and the constant on the right. If the variable is on the left and the constant is on the right, the symbol is going to tell you which way your graphing on the number line should go. That's why order matters. So, in the first flip-flop, you're going to take some notes with me. If you have to flip, flop <coughs> the sides of the inequality, that should even, okay. you must also flip-flop the inequality symbol. I'll zoom in on that so you can see it a little better. If you have to flip-flop the sides of the inequality, you must also flip-flop the inequality symbol. We're going to do some examples in the second flip-flop. I will wait for you guys to catch up to me and do a little decorating. It's making me miss summer when I spent most of the summer in flip-flops. Although I am wearing my cute dog slippers today, it's not a bad life, too bad. There we go. Okay. Everybody caught up? No, I'm not caught up. I don't mean with the decorating, I mean with the words. No, I'm not caught up yet. my incredible art skills, I can make polka dots. Cool. Makes for more interesting flip-flops, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's some examples. If I have an inequality that shows 11 is greater than B, then I want to flip-flop it and show that that really means B is less than 11. 
if I'm flipping the outer two to make it so that I have the variable on the left and the constant on the right, I also have to flip-flop the symbol. Our second example, if I have 17 is greater than or equal to y, then I flip-flop to show that y is greater than or equal to 17.